undermine the importance of data and what value it brings to national life has been described as one of the factors working against Nigeria's economic growth and improved security. This was the submission of a data expert and president of the Institute of Data Processing and Management, IDPM, Nigeria, Adam Garba. He stated this in his acceptance speech as president of the IDPM at an event recently held in Lagos. The issue is, you know, we have data disaggregation. Almost every agency collects on data independently, simply because of lack of cohesion. And that is what we are working towards, especially at IDPM. What we intend to do is to see how we can unite Nigerian data holistically. We will keep to do this advocacy as much as possible so that these things can be done. So when you have a centralized data bank structure where every information is deposited per citizen and economy or in Nigeria, that will be easily uh, going to aggregate our economic activities, make us have a more sana system in Nigeria, and even uh, perhaps even generate more revenue for the government. Because simply, if you have revenue generation and consumption per individual, and we are talking about 260 million people, it's easy for you to be able to determine the information about individuals and what they need to be able to be better and what they have for you to be able to tax. You can agree with me that we have road safety, who has taken biometrics of people if you are coming to uh, uh, take lands and driving lands. Okay, bank has taken biometrics. Okay, the question you ask, where are all these biometrics going to? Why are we still doing the same thing? Why don't we harmonize them so that we have a one data bank? whereby you can easily send in a, a, an information and you get the information back because this is how it is done elsewhere. So data bank is lacking in the country. We don't even have. Basically. That is corruption because how many years have we been trying to have a data bank? We don't. 